All of Marla Singer's stories begin with the phrase, you know, I once had a boyfriend, followed by a tale about some jerk or superhero. However, it doesn't matter. It's a question of terminology. The old woman from Ergoli Gorky has the same monologues, just in different words. And it seems that I, too, will likely become one of those broken heroines. Extreme individualism, multiplied by heroin in old age. In my case, whiskey and a pack of cigarettes a day. This deserves a confession. You know, I had a boyfriend. Although no, that word sounds too cheap for something good. You know, you know, I had a young boy and he really, really wanted to fly. A big dog, a little house in Karelia, drinking wine at night about red. And walking on the rooftops seemed safer to him than simple conversations on the street. I remember how he sat down, how the snow fell on his coat and never melted. I remember how he called his friends from Thailand, buying them gifts for Christmas. It's funny. He taught me how to kiss. He died of lung cancer, and in six months he would have turned 20. I remember how he was already laughing in the hospital. He said, if you start coughing up blood, don't come near. You have such a nice dress on. I'm just afraid to get it dirty. It's in his honor. I smoke a pack every day. And I also had a boy who, as someone said, was a scandal. He gave me bruises, then kissed them afterward. I enjoyed throwing things out of the window, breaking dishes and shouting, never cooking breakfast, getting up late. But alas, indeed, there was absolutely no regret at all in truly leaving him. And then I had a boy, a perfect copy of Kafka. He barely held my sleeve and stroked my hair. He also wrote letters signed, I miss you. The last time we saw each other was a year or two ago. And he still says that he is always happy to see me. For such things, perhaps women are sent to hell. I have always been lucky with those who don't let anyone in. In such cases, you know, I want to be the exception to the rule. But I stopped. You know? I had a boy, and he said that he himself didn't know how I got through to him, and all his I love yous were like slaps in the face. His precise movements, sharp and honed, are probably a result of the habit of always attacking to avoid defending. And then he said that one should never fall in love with someone like me, and one day we simply took different trains. I didn't call him anymore, as it was becoming a pattern.